JASCO Spectra Analysis Program is the analysis software platform for all of our spectroscopic instruments. Therefore, there will be some functions in spectra analysis that are not necessary for analyzing circular dichroism data. This section of the video will discuss processing tools commonly used for CD data analysis, and therefore certain functions will be omitted. Additionally, the data analyzed in this video are spectra measurement files where CD is measured as a function of wavelength. Other CD data measured as a function of time, concentration, or pH will be discussed in separate videos. The first processing tool is a baseline correction. First, make sure that the baseline spectrum is in the same view as the sample spectrum. Then select the sample spectrum. Either go to Processing, Corrections, Baseline, or select the Baseline Corrections icon in the Processing toolbar. You can select whether to use a straight line or a spline curve for the baseline correction. In the Spectrum Display area, the boxes on either side of the spectrum can be moved to change the baseline shape. Simply hover your mouse over the box until the tweezer icon appears and drag the square to the location on the graph which you want to adjust the baseline. Selecting Reset restores the baseline to its original shape. To apply the baseline settings, select OK. If you have a particularly noisy spectrum, you can use the smoothing function to reduce the apparent noise. To smooth your data, either select the smoothing icon in the processing toolbar or go to processing corrections smoothing four different smoothing methods are available the convolution width sets the number of data points to be averaged on both sides of each data point selecting display original data shows the original spectrum displayed in gray in the spectrum display area with the smooth spectrum overlaid in red. Click OK to set the parameters. A new memory is now created. To cut a spectrum to a specified wavelength range, select Processing, Corrections, Truncate Data. This function allows you to cut a spectrum without changing the data point interval. The original spectrum is displayed at the top of the spectrum display area, while the truncated data will be displayed below the original. To only truncate your data, select No Correction under the Method drop-down list. Then specify the wavelength range you wish to create. Click Apply, and then click OK to execute the truncate function and create a new memory. Under the Operation submenu in the Processing tab, Arithmetic performs arithmetic operations between spectra or between a spectrum and a constant. To perform arithmetic operations between two spectra, more than one spectrum must be in the active view. However, CD typically only requires a subtraction operation to remove the buffer spectrum from a sample CD spectrum. The Processing tab has a separate subtraction function, which can also be selected by clicking the subtraction icon in the Processing menu bar. To subtract a buffer spectrum from a sample spectrum, overlay the buffer spectrum in the sample spectrum's view. Select the sample spectrum and either choose the subtraction icon or go to Processing, Subtraction. If more than two spectra are in the active view, you'll be prompted to select which spectrum to subtract from the highlighted spectrum. In this case, we will be subtracting the buffer spectrum from our sample spectrum. In the subtraction menu box, the sample spectrum, or the spectrum you wish to subtract from, is in the top graph in the spectrum display area. The graph below it displays the subtracted spectrum. A multiplication factor can be specified, along with the step or interval by which the factor increases or decreases. Selecting Exchange switches the spectrum to be multiplied by the specified factor. Selecting Exchange Data exchanges the spectrum to be subtracted with the spectrum that you are subtracting from. 
For example, if you highlighted the buffer spectrum prior to clicking the subtraction icon, you can use the exchange button to swap the buffer spectrum with the sample spectrum so that the buffer spectrum is subtracted from the sample spectrum and not the other way around. The scales button allows you to set the spectrum range in the spectrum display area. The auto factor button is used to calculate factors that cancel out a particular peak. However, for CD data, we will not focus on this utility. The offset option calculates the spectrum where the difference at a specified wavelength for two spectra is given as zero. To apply the subtraction parameters, click OK, and a new memory is created. To locate a peak in a spectrum, select Processing, Peak Processing, Peak Find. The Peak drop-down list specifies whether you would like to locate peaks or valleys in the spectrum. For CD data, select both. Specify a value in the noise level box to determine a threshold used to recognize the top and bottom of a peak. If the difference between the top and bottom of a peak does not meet or exceed this value, the peak will not be recognized. The upper and lower limits when searching for peaks can be specified in the upper and lower limit boxes. Clicking Apply executes the peak find using the specified parameters, and a red bar will appear at the located peak positions. The peak find results are then displayed on the left in the peak table. Clicking on a particular peak value will cause a vertical cursor to appear at the selected peak in the spectrum display area. You can also select a peak to add by either selecting the wavelength with the cursor, or moving boxes in the spectrum, with the tweezer icon. Then select the Add button on the right hand side of the screen. Peaks can be deleted by selecting the peak and then clicking Delete. The peak table results can also be copied to the clipboard. Click OK to accept the peak find results and create a new memory. The new memory may or may not include peak indicators depending on what was specified earlier. To add or edit the peak indicators, either select the peak indicators icon in the View Command toolbar or go to View, Peak Indicators. Selecting None does not display the peak position. Bar denotes the peak position using a vertical bar. Bar Data Number denotes the peak position using a vertical bar and the peak number. Bar X displays a vertical bar in the X axis value. Bar Y displays the vertical bar in the Y axis value. Bar XY displays the vertical bar to denote the peak position as well as the X and Y axis values. To convert the X axis units of the spectrum, select Processing, X Unit Conversion. Unlike horizontal axis units under the View menu, which only changes the x-axis units of the view, x-unit conversion creates a new memory with new x-axis units. The Common Options drop-down list provides more data processing functions, such as channel conversion. Since data processing is only performed on Channel 1 or the top graph, the channel conversion operation allows you to select data from another channel in the active view to process. By adding that channel to the list below, a new memory of that specific channel is created and processing can now be performed on that new memory. Data comparison, reaction rate calculation, and the denaturation analysis functions are all discussed in separate videos. Data Dump displays CD values along with the values for each photometric mode selected for each wavelength. After setting the range of the x-axis, the thinning option will allow you to specify the intervals between data points that will be displayed. Apply executes the data dump process and displays the values to the left. These values can be copied to the clipboard.
Data accumulation obtains the average spectrum of a series of overlaid spectra in the same view. The data modes, intervals, and measurement ranges must be identical to perform the data accumulation operation. Arithmetic between data performs an arithmetic operation between spectra overlaid in the same view, which have the same data modes and intervals. The difference between this operation and the arithmetic operation is that you can perform this function on more than one channel in a view, not just on channel 1. The operation to be performed is shown at the top of the dialog box, and S1 and S2 are the selected spectra which are defined immediately below the expression. The arithmetic operator can be chosen by clicking on the drop-down list, and the factors can be entered into the appropriate text boxes. Click Apply to execute the calculation, and exchange to swap S1 and S2. The raw spectra are displayed on the left of the spectrum display field, while the calculated spectra are displayed on the right. You can specify the channels the arithmetic operation will be performed on by checking the boxes next to each channel. Click OK to apply the settings and create a new memory. The arithmetic between channels operation allows you to perform arithmetic operations by selecting two data sets from multiple channels in the same view. For example, you can use this option to divide the CD values by the HT voltage if the HT was not fixed during sample measurement and the DC was fixed. First select the channels and data sets from the drop-down lists. The drop-down list under Data Attribute After Processing allows you to select the type of units or mode the y-axis is displayed in. Clicking OK opens a new dialog box. The operation to be performed is shown at the top of the dialog box, and S1 and S2 are the selected spectra which are defined immediately below the expression. The arithmetic operator can be chosen by clicking on the drop-down list, and the factors can be entered into the appropriate text boxes. Click Apply to execute the calculation, and exchange to swap S1 and S2. The raw spectra are displayed at the top of the spectrum display field, while the calculated spectrum is displayed at the bottom. Selecting Back brings you back to the previous dialog box, while selecting Apply and then OK executes the operation and creates a new memory. There are more CD data processing functions under the CD drop-down list in the Processing tab. CDKK Transform converts the CD spectrum to an ORD or optical rotary dispersion spectrum using the Kramers Kroning relationship. HT to OD converts the HT voltage to an absorbance spectrum. The CD and absorbance data can be used to calculate the G value, but you need to select a spectrum that has both photometric modes acquired. Go back to Processing, CD Options, and G-Value. The G-Value is the degree of asymmetry of the absorption band and defined as delta epsilon divided by epsilon. S1 is the spectrum used as the numerator for the G-Value calculation. The desired spectrum and channel can be chosen from the drop-down list. S2 selects the spectrum used for the denominator of the calculation. Selecting OK performs the calculation and creates a new memory. Both CD Pro Analysis and Optical Constant functions are described in detail in separate videos. Sample Info Edit edits the information about the samples which can later be viewed by selecting the information icon in the View Command toolbar. The concentration and path length must be entered to edit the sample information. The Error Bar View option estimates the standard deviation of the noise level for the CD signal using the HT voltage. 
First enter the DIT or the response time along with the number of accumulations in the top right hand corner of the dialog box. The view interval specifies the intervals for displaying the error bars. Select display error value box and then click apply to view the errors based on the specified parameters.